Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Capricorn. So if you're a Capricorn sun, moon, rising, Venus, not known, or if you have a stellium in Capricorn, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider... Sorry, I got distracted by the Ace of Cups. Please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. All right, let's see. <coughs> Messages for Capricorn, please. Messages for Capricorn, please. Ooh, the lovers. Four of Swords. The lovers at the bottom of the deck and the justice. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, and the Page of Swords. Someone is watching you, stalking you. I mean, this person is watching and stalking you. Obsessively stalking you. Yeah, you could have blocked. I mean, look at that. Two of swords and seven of wands. You could have blocked this person. If you have, this person has. Yeah, the first card that came out is page of swords. Of course, this person is obsessed with you. And this is especially because you have pushed them away. You have drawn, uh, you have taken your energy back from them. You have taken a step back in this connection. And this person is right now thinking that you might be giving your attention to someone else. Like who, they want to know, you know, they want to know who else has your attention. Who is it that has got your attention right now? Ten of Cups, look at that. It's almost like this person is obsessing. Uh, they are stalking you. They're obsessing over you. And they are thinking that you are happy. You are good. You have already found someone else. While well, they are the one who is feeling miserable. While well, they are the one they are hooked. That is hooked to you. The devil is your energy here. But the devil can also talk about a lot of obsession. A lot of... Um, I mean, the devil and the emperor came out. That is someone who is very fixated on you. Page of Swords, Six of Wands. This person might uh, feel that you have already have options that that is trying to get your attention. Like there are already options that is trying to get your attention. be dealing with an Aries um, or another Capricorn look at that 10 of cups 7 of cups yeah that is what they are daydreaming about who has Capricorn's attention who is the one Capricorn dating right now who is the one Capricorn thinking about dating right now could be dealing with a Libra or simply put you could be going through a divorce with this person because we do have the justice and we did have seven of wands and two of swords right that is as I said you have blocked this per person you have pushed them away especially if you're going through a divorce with this person this person is very intrigued to know who who is it that you are almost like I don't know I got this energy 
I heard this that who are you seeing behind their back? Well, if you're getting a divorce from this person, it's it's not like it's behind their back. It's happening right in front of them. I'm going to keep it here. Yeah, <laughs> seven of wands came out. Almost like I'm getting the energy of someone who's very irritated and annoyed by the fact that you have blocked them. This devil could very well have been their energy and you said no to the devil. And as I said that the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. The king of swords has the capability of saying no to the devil. And we do have justice, right? Justice and king of swords. Firstly, those swords. I mean, the king of swords has this big sword. And the justice has this big sword, right? So they both are very capable of cutting out that devil. And this person feels like what you are doing is just cutting them out of your life. You're just almost hell-bent in cutting them out of your life. You are hell-bent on moving on from them. You are hell-bent on fi finding someone new. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are being sneaky. you this person wants to okay i'm going to talk about it later first let me take out the cards i'm getting distracted yeah judgment nine of pentacles you already have someone's attention death nine of cups and reverse oh, okay i have taken out a lot of cards seven of swords you might not be able to see all the cards from there Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups in Reverse, Death, Judgment. I'm going to keep the Death and Judgment here. So we could be dealing with Scorpio. This is strong Scorpio energy. Both of these are Scorpio cards. Or we also have Tower. So we have Tower, Death, Judgment. Strong Scorpio energy here. Uh, also cancer libra gemini aries uh, or another capricorn we also have high priestess at the bottom of this deck so you could be dealing with the pisces oh and we have the lovers again so the lovers is twice we already have the lovers here you could be dealing with the gemini and it's that's the tower again So this person right now is very fixated on you as i was saying they're very fixated on you and they're daydreaming about you getting attention from uh, uh someone else it's almost like i'm getting this image of you walking around and people just showering you with attention people are looking at you people can't stop staring at you people are ogling at you you know like you are the center of this attention I don't know this seems like a movie and like an elaborate movie this person is thinking about like you are walking down the streets and people are just worshiping you like you are some god or goddess now i think this is just this is just this person putting up putting you up on a pedestal and thinking very highly of you because we do have the nine of pentacles here right the nine of pentacles is i mean look at that she's gorgeous right the dress is gorgeous as well so yeah you are walking around looking like this and of course you are having uh, the opposite sex attention of the opposite sex and this is how this person is seeing you and they are just intrigued to know who who has your attention who is it that has your attention and it's it's coming from this 
I don't know. I got this kind of a cocky confidence from this person that that there's no one better than K no I mean Capricorn can't find someone better than me. There's no way Capricorn have already has someone better than me. There's no way Capricorn has already replaced me. You know, it's almost like they think they thinking very highly of you. Sorry, highly of themselves. They think very highly of you as well, but they are thinking very highly of themselves as well. Because the emperor is here, it seems like that stubborn energy, that stubborn, very egotistical energy stemming from their ego. Look at that. I was trying to clarify the six of wands and we have the page of swords again. That's page of swords repeated twice. This person is like watching you like a hawk here. Wanting to know who has your attention. If you think this person is over you or they are moving on, no matter how much it seems like that, this person is very obsessed with you. The devil here, this person feels like you have done some sort of black magic on them or some magic on them. And that is why they, they, they cannot feel, they don't feel good without you. They need you to feel good. This is the issue here. This person feels this, they need you to feel good themselves. Without you, they can't, can't feel good. And that is codependency. If someone feels like they, without you, they don't feel good, that is codependence, especially considering we have the Queen of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups can be a very nurturing, caring, loving energy. And this person could have very well be depending on you to make them feel good. You know, it was your responsibility to make them happy. It was your responsibility to make them feel good. While they were being this four of pentacles energy of I'm going to hold back, I'm going to be stubborn, I'm going to be egotistical and prideful. Because the four of pentacles can totally be that energy of someone who's holding back and just expecting the other person to give, give, give to nurture. You know, and this is what was happening. So this person could, this, this could be a very well, like an, uh, someone who was almost like this energy vampire who needs your energy to make them feel good. They need your validation to feel good. It's also very possible that this is the kind of person who always needs someone from the opposite sex or, you know, someone they're attracted to, to feel, make them feel good. Like they always need someone to make them feel good. They always need someone showering them with attention and love and making them feel good, filling their cups while they are just being selfish because four of pentacles is totally that selfish energy. And right now, they want your attention back. It's almost this, what I heard is, how dare. This is what I heard. Yeah. This is what this person is saying. How dare Capricorn not give me their attention anymore? So if you are not chasing this person, this person is just like, no. I mean, what do you mean Capricorn isn't after me? What do you mean Capricorn isn't giving to me? They were giving to me back then. So why are not they giving to me right now? It must mean Capricorn has found someone else. Even if you are not dating someone else or not interested in someone else, this person has already assumed that the only reason you are not giving to them is because you already have someone else in your life you're giving attention to. Yeah, they want to know. They are very curious. This person is acting, they themselves are acting cold and detached and they feel like it's your fault that you are not giving them attention while they themselves are acting cold, detached and from their pride and ego because emperor and the queen of swords together can totally mean someone who's acting cold, detached and it's almost like this uh, very 
as I said, cocky kind of confidence, right? So they themselves are behaving cold, detached and coming from the place of ego and pride. And it's very possible this person has blocked you as well. The two of swords can be their energy as well. They blocked you. And they were acting as this drama queen of, again, male, female drama queen. Both, both parties can be drama queen. As far as I've seen from my personal experience. Uh, yeah, so this person was at wanting their, your attention. So if this person blocked you, they thought that you're just going to keep, you know, you're just going to come rushing back towards them, like wanting to know what's up with them. Have you done something wrong? I don't know what is this weird energy. Have you done something wrong? Why are you not? I mean, why are you blocking me? What is going on? They thought you're the one who's going to lose their sleep, lose their mind and feel miserable without them. And this is what is getting to this person's ego because they... They can act cold, detached and come from their pride and ego. But it's not fair when you are behaving the same, same way. When you are behaving the same way, when you are choosing yourself, that's when this person thinks it's not fair. That's when this person feels like they are hooked to you. They are hooked on you. They need your energy. They need your energy. This person thinks very highly of themselves and almost like a narcissistic kind of way. Ooh, yeah, they were trying to, their entire idea was like, I'm going to block Capricorn or I'm going to take my energy back from, away from Capricorn or, or I'm going to just keep behaving the way I am, manipulative, a narcissistic, attention seeker, e egotistical, prideful. I'm going to keep behaving like that. And Capricorn is no matter what I do, they are going to keep coming back to me. There's no way Capricorn can disconnect from me because the devil, again, can be a very mutual kind of energy because in the traditional right away, in the devil card 1717, um, what was I saying? Yeah. In the traditional right away, the devil has two people chained together, right? So it's a very mutual kind of energy. At least to me as a reader, that's what it feels like. So this person feels like not only they were hooked to you, you were hooked to them as well. So again, a very codependent connection because the devil can talk about codependency. The devil can talk about narcissism, codependency, toxic connection. So this person thought that there's no way you are going to be able to get rid of them. There's no way you are going to be able to cut cut them out of your life. You can't do that. Because you are their source. I don't know of what of make. I guess of their source of making them feel good. So this person is realizing their entire idea of remaining blocked, acting like a narcissist, behaving in a prideful way, none of those actually worked. And they're very surprised. Yeah, they are, they are very surprised. They are very surprised that them being defensive, you are not running after them wanting their attention. They're very surprised. It was like a huge blow to their ego that you are not chasing them. You're not running after them. This could be the magician and the devil. This could be very manipulative energy. Someone who knows how to twist and turn their words. I mean, gaslighting. Twist and turn their words in a way that will make you feel like you are the one who's wrong. You know, so that is gaslighting. Yeah. Their plan failed. Now they are feeling overburdened. Now they are they are thinking about you. Now they feel hooked to you. Now, now they miss your energy. Now they want you back. Because the entire idea of remaining blocked and not communicating with you, being hot and cold, it's very possible this person was also hot and cold. I just got that randomly hot and cold. 
so there gaslighting and all of that 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 didn't work now they feel overburdened now it's weighing heavy on their heart that they don't have you in their life anymore and you probably are already gone off meeting someone new We do have the Ten of Cups and the Seven of, you can't see that, but we do have the Ten of Cups and then this is the Seven of Cups. So we have the Three of Cups in the mix. Three of Cups talks about reunion, right? Coming together, coming back together, reunion, happy times, celebrating. The Ten of Cups, this person misses the happiness. Sorry about that, I shook the entire camera. Um, this person wants that happiness. They want you to make them feel good again. They miss you with that lovers. They miss you. They feel feel a bond with you. They feel a connection with you. No matter how much of a narcissistic they were, how much narcissistic they were, or how much they manipulated you, it's not like this person doesn't feel that bond. Because they do. We do have the lovers here. The lovers, the ten of cups. This person feels that. Especially if they feel that you are cutting them out. Justice and devil. This could be a divorce or this could be... Uh, if the if you were not married to this person and this was just a long term commitment or a situation ship or a relationship, they are they can feel it. They feel you cutting them out of their life. It's almost like look at that. She feels so confident, right? She's looking good. She's looking fine, and she looks so confident in doing what she's doing. What I'm getting is this person, huh? It's very possible when you were this spot where with this person, you constantly you you were giving to them, right? Right? You were giving, giving, and over giving to them, and that might have made this person feel that you are not confident enough in yourself, or it's very possible this person made you feel like you're not confident enough. You know, like somehow they made you feel lesser than them. So now when they see you cutting them out, they are just like, where is Capricorn getting this confidence from? 22-22, which again is balance. Where is Capri Capricorn getting this confidence from? This person might also feel or think that someone else is giving you these ideas and these are not your ideas at all. So that is why this person might feel like you already have someone else and that person is telling you what to do or giving you these ideas and that is how you are having this idea of cutting this person out. Again, this is how this person feels. I'm not saying that. This is how this person feels. So they feel you have already someone else in your life who is giving you these ideas of cutting them out. Who is the reason you have this newfound confidence and they want to know who is this person because of which you have that confidence. Again, this could simply be just you taking back your power and this person just thinking that, I don't know why this person feels like you, you couldn't have done that earlier. You might have given too many chances to this person and that is why this person thought that they, you will never have the confidence to walk away from them. But you showed them otherwise. And now they're very intrigued, like how does Capricorn has this confidence? What is going on with Capricorn? All right. What they truly want is to just sneak back into your life somehow, some or the other way, just sneak back in like a snake and try to find out, try to understand, try to figure out what is this? Why are you so different now? What is going on? This is not the Capricorn I knew. So what is going on? And they are trying to find this information, especially if you have common friends or colleagues, co-workers, what have you. This person is trying to ask around, you know, and, and not, in a not very direct way even. It's not like they, if you have a common friend, they are going to that friend and asking, I want to know what's going on with Capricorn. No, in a very sneaky kind of way, they are trying to find information, they are trying to gather information out of other people as to what is going on with you. It's also this person wants to just especially if you have blocked this person from social media and everything uh, this person is literally like they're desperate for some information on you now if you haven't really blocked 
this this person from social media then with that nine of pentacles they see you posting if you have posted some good pictures of yourself anywhere some way or the other this person has found that out and i mean in today's day and age it takes so little time to create a fake profile right this person is literally like they are very surprised to see your glow up because as i said they thought that you will never have that confidence so instead of feeling miserable you are looking good and you are feeling confident and they you are feeling confident without them you are looking good without them and that is making this person feel very selfish and jealous not selfish that is making them feel very jealous they're extremely jealous of you right now they are jealous of the fact that they don't have your energy that they are not in your life anymore but you are doing good that is jealousy 555 five, five. yeah you are changing you are going through changes and as i said change is death death does talk about change right massive huge change you could be going through an awakening as well death and judgment and it's very possible you taking back your power is helping you pushing you to uh move forward go forward because this person wants that second chance with their judgment the judgment did come, come out right so they want that second chance with you because this person just won't it, it's very difficult for this person to believe that you are leaving them behind that you are letting them go that you are moving on it's very difficult for this person to understand that yeah bottom of this deck we have uh, yeah look at that chasing you could have been really chasing this person and yes it was very toxic and distance separation space blockage yeah you're blocking this person whether it is physically you are blocking this person or energetically you are pushing them away there is blockage here i'm just going to keep this yeah look at that arrogance ego stubbornness pride that is the uh this is the energy i was getting from that emperor yeah this person could have been very indecisive hot and cold you know and you are having new beginnings here new direction you are starting over and this is making this person well for lack of a better word pissed If I didn't already mention, you could be dealing with a Gemini Virgo. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Give me a minute, the entire deck just went crazy. What is this? The moon. Yeah, this person feels like you have secrets. You are hiding someone. The wheel of fortune here. You're moving on. You're moving ahead. Nine of wands. Yes, your defenses are up. You're blocking them. Four of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer.
fixed sign star scorpio leo aquarius the four of wands coming out in reverse is that sim uh, simply this energy of you don't believe in them anymore especially if you were married to this person you are done with that marriage you don't believe in this marriage anymore you don't believe in the foundation anymore this is literally a wedding cake right yeah this is a wedding cake am i yeah this is a wedding cake yeah the four of wands came out in reverse person feels literally like you are you are giving up you are done and dusted so I have the man on the five of pentacles This deck is so slippery, but it's so beautiful. All right, we're dealing with the Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, with the moon, your first message that I got with the moon is first of all, you are out of reach for this person. That's the first message I got. They can't reach you. Even if they try, they can't reach you. And the second thing is, this person feels like you have secrets. You are hiding someone. You are hiding something. There's something you are definitely hiding from this person. Or there's someone you are definitely hiding from this person. And they don't like it. Because, and that is why they are walk, watching you like a hawk and stalking you like crazy. Because they feel like you're hiding something and they want to know what it is. Their curiosity has been peaked. Uh, and we do have cats here, right? Cats are very curious creatures. The two of ones, like literally, that cat has their back, right? The cat is done. I mean, not the cat is done, you are done. Right? That, that is how this person sees you, you are done. And it doesn't even bother you. It's almost like this person sees you that it doesn't even bother you. And they can't believe that this is possible and this is real and this is happening. Yeah, you're ready to take that leap of faith towards something else, someone else. And you might have already taken that leap of faith. The lovers again. Yeah, I already said, right? This person feels like you already have someone else. And this is what this person is feels like you are hiding. You are hiding someone here. And that that is who they, they want to know who this person is. Who is this new person in your life? Aries, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Wheel of Fortune again. You are moving on. You are moving ahead. You are moving ahead in life. You are progressing in life. You are leveling up in life. So this connection, this ending between the both of you, it did not bring you down. Instead, it helped you level up in life. And I don't like that. <laughs> As I said, level up in life, justice again. Yeah, justice repeated twice. You could be going through a divorce. And if, here's the reason thing. This person feels like with the divorce, you should have been down in the doldrums, broken and bad and miserable and all of those things. But instead, you're just doing fine and you're moving on. Nine of Wands, you have your defenses up. You don't trust them at all. This person knows that you... You might never trust them at all. It's not It's not just right now you don't trust them at all. You might never trust them at all. And with the four of wands reverse, I mean, this is plain as daylight that, that wedding cake is in reverse. So whatever foundation, whatever structure there was, it's, it's gone and done and you are done and dusted with them. This is also the four of wands. It's also the 11, 11 card because this is literally like 11, 11, right? So yeah, they don't see you manifesting, trying to manifest them back. 
You're not interested in manifesting them back. That is how this person sees you. Now, when it comes to their actions, I'm going to clarify. Yeah, you have already turned your back. It's just the same cards are repeating now. I feel like the message is pretty much the same. Yeah, you're not going to do anything. Four of swords. Okay, now when it comes to their actions, I'm going to just remove these a bit. Yeah. Hanged man, the five of pentacles, the queen of swords. This person feels miserable, lonely, sad, left out in the cold by you. They feel like you have abandoned them and this person is just being over dramatic. You know, like, did I mention drama queen? I feel like I've mentioned it. I think I have. Yeah, they were they are being over dramatic like you abandoned them that is how this person is behaving and they are completely ignoring the fact this you very well could be this person could be a narcissist you would be dealing with and this person is completely ignoring the fact of what they did to you instead you are abandoning them the queen of swords can also talk talk about a divorced person so yeah you are the one who's initiating this divorce you are the one who wants to get divorced you are the one who wants to move on from them. I'll clarify that hand man. For some of you, this is what I'm getting. This person feels miserable. They feel totally abandoned by you. But they are not going to come towards you. They are not going to do something here right now because they it's it's too much. Their ego and pride won't let them. This is coming in the way of them doing anything. And because they see you very balanced with the temperance, they see you very balanced, you're divinely protected even might be because you are going through a transformation. So they see you balanced, they see you doing well, they see your back turned towards them. And this person might feel like if they try coming towards you right now, you are you might go off on this person. You might totally just do you see how do you see how they are, you know, just with the sticks and almost like ready to beat? Yeah, you, this person might feel like you are just going to go off on them completely. Destroy them with your words. That's what I got. And they're very, and that is why they're scared coming towards you. Especially considering Queen of Swords can totally be that kind of energy who destroys someone with their words. Because if, if needed, the Queen of Swords knows how to be a bitch. So yeah. I want to clarify the handman. The moon in reverse. Five of Cups. This person will much rather stalk you and try to find what is going on with you than come towards you because they know you they have already disappointed you and they have disappointed you to the point that you are not going to come back to them this person is trying to find clarity here they are trying to find the truth and how they are doing it is by stalking you by asking around about you Instead of just coming towards you. Because this is pride, arrogance and ego. Yeah, look at that. They, they do want this. They do... They don't want you to move on. They don't want, they do want a second chance with you. But their pride and ego, this, this is the reason everything is happening. You could, this could be a very narcissistic, as I have been saying from the very beginning, this is a narcissist you are dealing with. Their pride and ego won't let them admit it, won't let them come towards you and make a move and tell you that they do want you back. They don't want you to move on. For some of you, this person could be going through something as well. You know, some sort of spiritual transformation is happening for this person. I mean, they could be going through an ego death here. 
But more than that, this person really wants that. Judgment coming out twice, they really want you back. But their pride and ego just won't let them come towards you. I guess I've mentioned all the signs, right? Yeah. Okay, if I haven't, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, that's your reading, Capricorn. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.